Hello and welcome to IT Leader Digital and IT Strategy course. About First Career. First Career is an international training company having its offices and training locations in the USA, UK, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Germany, Belgium, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and many more countries globally. We provide training in popular certification courses such as ITIL4, Prince2 Projects in Controlled Environments, Prince2 Agile, MSP Managing Successful Programs, ISO 27001, the Information Security Management System, ISO 31000, Risk Management, GDPR, and many other trainings for individuals and organizations. First Career delivers its courses via self-paced e-learning, live online, public locations, and corporate on-site globally. We are an authorized training center and endorsed by leading global professional bodies such as PeopleCert UK, Axelos UK, and Professional Evaluation and the Certification Board of Canada, PECB, that is. You can see the logo at the bottom right. We are a PECB authorized silver partner. The agenda or the list of topics for this course. It is split into three sections, part one, part two, and part three. Part one includes one section, section number two, which is about the digital and IT strategy. Part two includes sections three to eight, which are the strategy journey. The strategy journey uses the continual improvement model with the seven steps. Part three is about the strategy capabilities, sections nine to 12. The current recording is about the DITS training program and the course. This will be followed by the introduction section, number one, which is not part of the exam syllabus, but good to know anyway. The exam syllabus begins from section number two, which is key concepts, which is part of the digital IT strategy, part one of the DITS manual. From section three onwards, we have the part two of the DITS manual, which is about the strategy journey. And that runs from section three to eight. And we can see clearly here, sections three to eight are on the lines of the continual improvement model. Beginning with the question, what is the vision? Followed by, where are we now? Where do we want to be and how do we get there? Take action, did we get there? And how do we keep the momentum going? The first assignment is included in section number three, what is the vision? The second assignment is part of section four, where are we now? The third assignment is part of section six, take action. And the fourth assignment is part of section eight. How do we keep the momentum going? You might see some asterisks marked for section number two, section number three, and section number five. These mean that in the DITS exam, as many as 18 questions of the 30 questions are likely from sections two and three and five. Finally, we have part three, which is strategic capabilities, sections nine to 12, digital leadership, managing innovation and emerging technologies, managing strategic risk and structuring for digital business. Outside of the DITS manual, we also have the practice guidances and we will cover the seven practices in section 13. The assessment approach to obtain the DITS qualification. It consists of practical assignments, four in number, based on a single case study, followed by an examination. It is mandatory to pass the four assignments before being allowed to write the written examination. And completion of both will lead to obtaining the Digital and IT Strategy Certification. A bit more detail about the two-part assessment leading to the DITS certification. Part one is the practical assignments. These are in-class, in-group, four assignments based on a case study. However, for individual e-learners such as you, it will be not in-class, in-group, but you can do it independently on your own and submit the responses for the assignments. One hour generally per assignment. In case of group, then the last assignment, the fourth assignment is for one and a half hours. There are five assessment criteria. Eight marks per criterion, thus a total of 40 marks. The pass mark is 30 or above out of 40. Bloom's level four is used, 
which is analyzing and judging whether a course of action is effective and appropriate based on a case study. It's an open book exam, meaning the DITS publication, the practice publications and any other material may be used. Part two, following the successful passing of the practical assignments, you will be eligible to write the multiple choice written exam. It is for one hour and if the exam is not taken in the native language, then 25% extra time is allowed. For example, if a person is non-English and if they're taking the English exam, English exam, then they get 15 minutes extra. And your native language will be mentioned when you register for the exam with PeopleCert. 30 questions, multiple choice, one mark each, no negative marking, 21 out of 30 or 70% to pass. Bloom's level two, comprehension and Bloom's level three application are used for testing the candidate. It's a closed book exam. More about the assessments. The trainer evaluates the outputs of the assignments, all the four that is. In particular, the completeness of the results or the scope and also the quality, meaning relevance to the case study and correct application of the ITIL recommendation. It is important to note these two parameters for the successful completion of the assignments. Meaning, it is important that the responses are relevant to the case study and the responses are also relevant to the ITIL DITS publication and the practice publications. And also, the responses should be complete and correct. Individual or group skills and behavior are not evaluated. Of course, for e-learners, it is a single person submission and not a group. The marks are shared by all members of the team who participated in case it's a group assignment in a live class. If somebody misses a group exercise, then an individual written assignment would have to be done by that person. The assessment criteria for all the four assignments, total 40 marks and requires 30 or more to pass. For all the four assignments, meaning for each one of them, there are two marks per assignment related to the principles. Relate the ITIL guiding principles to all aspects of the digital and IT strategy. So these two marks are reserved for each of the four assignments, therefore a total of eight marks. Plus, apart from these eight marks, there are marks for each of the individual assignments and eight marks for each of the individual assignments. Therefore, eight for the principles in total and eight each for the four assignments make it 40 marks, requiring 30 to pass. The assignments are as follows. Number one, use a digital positioning tool to determine the appropriate position for a digital organization. Assignment number two, assess strategic approaches for digital organizations. Number three, apply various approaches to strategy coordination and implementation. And number four, know how to analyze VUCA factors and address them in a digital and IT strategy. VUCA stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. We are going to learn about VUCA in this course. 